Hi, this is Quant Namat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you uh, Vector BT. It's, it's a framework for backtesting in Python. And I started to use it just recently, but I like it a lot. And it's quite powerful, um, simple to use and quite fast. Idea is that it's actually it's built in uh, mostly in uh, NumPy and Pandas. And it's quite powerful and super simple to use. And just in a few lines of code, you can backtest uh, certain strategies and this is what I like a lot about it that it's really easy to start uh, coding in it and in this video I will show you a pretty simple example and you will see for yourself that it's it's quite simple so here I have a Jupyter notebook so let's go and implement um, a simple example of um, of, of a strategy um, in uh, vector bt so first of all we need to import um, a vector bt um, in, in Python, I will use the PBT LS for it. And um, now let's get some data we want uh, to backtest a vector BT on. So what I will do, I will create like a data variable and I will use um, a built-in um, vector BT function called um, YF uh, data. It stands for Yahoo Finance data. And I will use download function from it. And here I need to specify what do I want to get from Yahoo Finance. And for simplicity, I will use um, Apple um, data and I will use interval um, um, to one day. And um, that's actually it. Um, so we can execute it to receive the data. And also, I will use um, in uh, my strategy only like close data. So I'll create another variable. A data close and I will use data dot get um, close uh, to get the data. Now we can see um, how um, data looks like and it seems uh, to work quite fine. So now let's go and implement logic of uh, my uh, strategy and for simplicity let's assume that I want to create uh, like moving average strategy long only so when we have cross over uh, fast over slow moving average have I buy Apple and I have cross under I sold Apple so something uh, super simplistic so first of all we have to compute our moving averages and um, fortunately in, in vector BT you have quite a lot of indicators already available to you so let's um, go and um, create um, uh, these variables with uh, computed indicators first so first is I will create a fast moving average. I will use uh, VBT dot moving average run a function. And here I have to specify my uh, close um, variable with the close data. And I have to specify period length of my moving average. So that's it. So let's repeat it for um, slow moving average. It's, it will be the same, but I will use like different length. So that's it. Now you can execute it and uh, VBT will compute uh, fast and slow moving average for you nicely. So now let's define entries and exits um, to my strategy. It's also quite easy to do with the built-in uh, vector BT functions. So first we'll define entries. Um, so um, I, now I will specify that I want my um, moving average uh, fast uh, to um, and I will here specify a method uh, ma um, crossed above and here I need to specify my slow moving average so that's actually um, we defined our entries so now let's do the same with exits so it's um, the same but here I will specify uh, below instead of above so that's it, you can compute it as well. And we can check now our entries and how do they look. Actually, it looks like an umpire array. And so you can um, take a look yourself, like does it make sense or not? So now we have our entries and exits uh, calculated. So now we can run our backtesting uh, strategy. It's also easy, quite easy to do that. I will use um, VBT uh, function uh, portfolio dot um, from um, signals and here you just need to specify a few things uh, so first of all I need to specify my uh, data close um, and just pass the data I want my backtest to compute on um, also need to pass entries and exits um, and exits will um, here. 
And also I need to specify frequency so uh, vector bt will know how to compute a certain matrix uh, like sharp ratio for example so you can just run it and as you can see it is quite fast and it will now compute um, the backtest for entire um, history of apple so backtest is computed now let's go and evaluate results of our strategy and just um, let's see uh, what metrics and how you can get from vector bt it's also quite powerful and simple just to have like numerical um, uh, metrics uh, from uh, your back tests you can use uh, stats uh, function um, passed to your um, result of your uh, back testing so let's execute it and um, in a sec you'll see quite a lot of metrics already computed for you and here you have quite a lot of useful stuff you can see when it started when it's ended you know the period starting value end value you know like and so on and so on and you can um, find here pretty fancy metrics like sharp ratio calmar ratio whatever you want actually and now let's go uh, uh, see how you can uh, plot results of um, your backtesting and to do that i will create um, a new variable and i will use res.plot uh, function and here you in um, sub uh, plots uh, parameter you can specify what plots actually do you want uh, to return and to see and you have here a few options for example first one i will use com returns um, um, subplot and also you can use for example orders to see like a chart of apple with orders created for you and also for example you can use uh, trade pnl um, just to show uh, over the time what was pnl of every trade and um, here the last one i need to uh, call a figure show and let's execute it And as you can see we have a pretty nice three plots so we can actually investigate like how our strategy works over the benchmark here and um, it's actually like a plotly um, nice uh, charts so you can actually uh, zoom in to certain uh, areas um, so you can also um, go across the chart to see what's happened and so on so it's quite um, dynamic and it, so it's quite nice with like one line of code to get something like that so second um, is actually um, orders chart so you can see when orders happened and what is the price for every order so it's quite useful and on the last chart here you can see this is every trade for every date and um, and here looking at that you can see at what periods actually uh, your strategy worked better and for which periods it worked worse also you can um, go and uh, check if you want more kind of granular um, data you can go and export trades uh, from your um, from your book test as well and all possible uh, metrics for, for the trades it's quite easy to do that as well you can go to uh, your um, book testing results of variable and you have to call here uh, positions records are uh, readable and here this will put you a really nice uh, pandas um, um, data frame with all your trades so actually you can um, do some more kind of advanced analysis of um, your trades just to understand what actually happened and what went wrong or so on so as you can see um, and it was pretty kind of simplistic example of what a vector bt can do but actually i spent here only like a few minutes to write this code and of course uh, you can uh, do much more complicated things with it at, at like stop losses run it across uh, multiple um, multiple stocks at the same time and so on and so on if you're interested i can create more videos about it but i hope um, this demonstration was enough for you just to understand that vector bt is pretty cool library you should invest some time into learning it